and welcome back to a brand new workout and this is the final workout in our recent k-pop workout challenge so after doing abs and legs and arms a lot of you guys requested me to do a thigh gap workout so that is exactly what i will be doing today i hope you guys are as excited as i am and then without any further ado let's get into it right away so the first exercise that we will be doing are waves. So for this one, you're going to lay down, raise your leg, and then you're going to make this beautiful wave motion. So just pretend like you are the ocean and beautiful, nice waves. I feel like I say this in every single workout routine, but you don't have to do these exercises fast. It is about doing them right. So I want a beautiful movement, a flowy movement. And if you're doing this correctly, you will already be able to feel this. Cause yeah, I can already feel the burn and we only just got started. So yeah, I hope you guys feel it as well. We're going to do each exercise of this workout routine for one minute straight. And we're almost done with this one. So push through, don't give up now. Three, two, one. And that is it. Now next up, butt touches. So for this one, raise your leg up in the air and then you're going to bend your knee and out. Bend and out. And you don't actually have to forcefully touch your butt. Just make sure that your heel comes closest to your butt as possible. And really nice. Controlled movements. Nice and slow. Do you feel this burning already? I hope you do. Perfect. That's it. You are strong, you are powerful, you are amazing, and the fact that you're working out right now, that you're on your mat, that you chose to do this workout instead of anything else, makes you a superstar. And that is it. Now moving on to these two exercises again, but then on the other side. So we're going to switch positions and then do the waves again. Are you guys ready? Let's do this. Yes, make a beautiful wave motion. That's it, you're doing amazing. Don't give up now. Okay guys, I just wanna know what's going on in your life. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, then you will know that I just got back from Ibiza. I have posted daily vlogs on Instagram Reels and also on TikTok, but in case you don't have those social medias or you just don't follow me on there, which I urge you to do because trust me, my content is really fun. And uh, no, guys, I don't wanna push you to do anything, but like, if you want to support me, go follow me on there. But I will also be uploading Ibiza vlogs on here. So stay tuned for that. And then three and two and one. And that is it. Okay, now we're going to do the butt touches. So for this one, again, leg up and reach for your butt. And out. And in. And out. And And out. Good job, you're doing so well. So yeah, I've been to Ibiza, and next up is Seoul, South Korea. Oh, guys, I will be flying out in a couple of days, and I'm nervous. I've been packing, um, which is already really exciting in itself. I've been preparing my trip, and it's going to be so fun, I cannot wait to take you guys along with me. And that's why I also thought it would be fun to do a K-pop workout challenge in order to prepare for that trip. But 
remember even though you are a k-pop fan and you love k-pop and you're looking up to idols remember that you're beautiful in your own unique way this is just a fun challenge doing exercises that idols claim they do and just getting in shape together while sticking to a fun theme that's all that there is to it please don't compare yourself to others too much just wanted to put that out there before we move on to the next exercise and that is the open and closed bridge for this one we're going to lay down on our back and then we're going to get into our bridge position you're going to move your uh, feet up and then and down and on your tippy toes, stay on your toes, out and in and up, out, in and down. Stay on your toes, I know this is challenging, but we're in this together, we're not doing this alone, and up. And out, and in, and down, and up, and out, and in, and down, and up. Come on, you got this. Yes. Up. Let's do this. Come on. Yes, okay. I'm really curious what you guys have been up to. Do you guys have any fun travel plans? Any exciting? events coming up let me know so that was it for that one now moving on to the next exercise which are in and outs okay guys feet off the floor and we're going to move in and out and in and out amazing that's it really good come on guys I love doing leg workouts. Those are my favorite workouts, not only to film, but also to do. I feel like, I don't know, they're always so challenging and I can definitely see amazing results from my leg routines. I've learned all these exercises when I was modeling because when modeling, of course, it's all about the toned physique and that's the same for K-pop idols. They all do these kind of like Pilates inspired exercises um, like this one where it's all about making sure that you lean out those muscles and speaking about leaning out your muscles it's really important to stretch before and afterwards. So now we are done with this one and it is time for one of my favorite exercises, the thigh gap push. For this one, we're going to lay down and make sure that our feet are glued together. Just pretend like you're a mermaid and this is your tail and your feet are stuck. Um, so a slight bend in the knees is okay, but make sure to stretch out your legs as much as possible. That's it, you're doing so well. And whilst doing a K-pop workout challenge, I'm really curious what kind of groups you listen to, who you bias, um, yeah, what kind of groups you stand and which songs you like best, let me know. As you guys know, I'm really into K-pop, but even more so into K-hip-hop. I really love artists such as BB. Oh gosh, if you haven't listened to BB before, please do. She has such an angelic voice and her lyrics hit different, but also artists like Jay Park and CK, PH1, just a whole higher music gang basically. Um, but also groups like Blackpink, obviously, those will stay in my face forever. So now we are done with that one, and now we're going into the inner thigh burners. This exercise is actually kind of nostalgic because I started with this exercise on my channel. I think in one of the very first workout videos that I did, I did this exercise and you guys all loved it. Please let me know if you were here from the start. Uh, that would be so special. Imagine you were one of the very first, let's say, thousand people who followed me. Well, if you are, then thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. You guys have changed my life. 
Uh, we're so close to 500K, by the way, and I'm really excited to hit that goal. So yeah, some people say you always do like the same type of exercises. I like to alternate it and I like to switch it up as much as possible, but exercises like this, I just know that they work. So that's why I always try to incorporate them in my routines because I know that they worked for me so well. And this is an exercise also that I started doing when I was modeling. So done with that one. Now we're going to move to our side again and we're going to do leg races. Leg up in the air and down and up. Make sure to go as high as possible, but don't rush it. The way up is equally as important as the way down. So nice, slow, and controlled movements. After this one, we're going to do pulses, and then we're going to do circles, and then we're going to repeat that on the other side, and then we are done. I can't believe that these four weeks went by so super quickly. Please let me know if you love this four week challenge, if there's anything that you would want me to do differently in my next challenges. I am definitely down to hear you guys' feedback. That's really important to me. So three and two and one and that is it. So now we're going to do the pulses like I said. For these pulses, slow movements, tiny movements, but I always say the tiniest movements make the biggest difference because trust me, this is gonna burn like crazy, especially when keeping your leg as high as possible. A slight bend in the knees is okay, once again, but try to stretch your leg as much as possible. And uh, talking about stretching, a lot of you guys want me to do a stretching routine, but guys, like I'm the most unflexible person in the whole world, I feel like. I've done yoga for a while and it actually improved my flexibility a ton, but I feel like I'm just not the best person to get instructions in that area. I feel like, I'm, I don't know, I, I'm kind of insecure about it, so I don't want to give you guys the wrong example. And there are so many yoga instructors out here, certified yoga instructors on YouTube that do way better jobs than me. So if you want a stretching video, make sure to do one by an actual certified yoga professional because they know what's up and I don't want to teach you anything that's wrong. Now we're going to do the circles. Okay, for this one, leg up high, and then we're going to make beautiful circles. So beautiful forward circles, amazing. You're doing so great. And by the way, I don't want you to work out because you are insecure, guys. I know for a lot of people, that's the number one reason why they get on the mat and get into their workout gear and start doing workouts on YouTube because they want to improve something because they feel insecure about it. And I can totally relate, you guys. I am insecure so often and my mind is constantly racing. What if, what if I was prettier? What if my legs were skinnier? What if my butt wasn't as fat or my thighs weren't as thick or you name it. Like, I have so many insecurities myself, but I don't want it to be the reason why you are working out. Because even if you want to improve certain aspects of your life or of your body, it shouldn't come out of insecurity. It should come out of positivity. So instead of working out with a mindset of lack, I want you to work out with a mindset of abundance. Think of how you can improve certain aspects of your life without being insecure about your current state. I hope that makes sense. And now we're going to do the leg races on the other side. Are you guys ready? The best way of doing this, working out whilst wanting to improve certain aspects without being insecure, without those insecurities being your driving force, is to use positive affirmations. So I always say in my workouts, you are strong, you are beautiful because I truly believe it, but also 
because it's really important to have those positive, positive affirmations ingrained in your brain. But besides that, what I also think works tremendously is to stop making self-deprecating jokes. I know a lot of people do this, but it just gets ingrained in your brain the same way that the positive affirmations do. So if you're constantly telling your friends laughingly, oh, I'm so fat, you know, you will start feeling fat and that's not what we want. So instead of looking at yourself in a mirror and saying, oh, I'm so ugly today and kind of like laughing it off, I want you to smile at yourself, not laugh at yourself. Um, now we're going to do pulses. And whilst smiling at yourself, I want you to name three things about yourself that you like and look at those body parts in a positive way. So for example, I like my eyes. And then, so when I'm looking in a mirror, instead of focusing on all the things about myself that I don't like, um, my fine lines, my wrinkles, if I have pimples, if my hair is too thin, or my legs are too short, or whatever it is that is bothering me that day. Um, maybe I feel like I look tired or dull or, I don't know, there are so many reasons for you not to feel your best self, but if you start focusing on all those aspects that you don't like about yourself, you start spiraling even more and you will bring more negativity into your life and you eventually can only see in the mirror what it is that you don't like about yourself. So I want you to look at the things that make you happy. Like for example, if you have a really nice smile or really rosy cheeks or just anything that makes you different from other people, uh, be proud of that because you should. Then now with all those positive vibes, let's move on to the final exercise, circle. Are you guys ready? Raise your leg up high and beautiful circles it is. Amazing, beautiful forward circles. We can make it a little bit more challenging and also do some backwards ones. So forward, forward, backwards, backwards. Forward, forward, backwards, backwards. Okay, now we're gonna spin forward again. I hope that you love this workout as much as I did. I recommend you to do this workout three times a day, but if you feel like that's too much for you, you can alter it to your own needs. That's why I made it this length, so that you can also do it once, you can also do it twice, whatever you want. As long as you do this every single day for the upcoming six days, you can take Sunday off as your rest day, or you can take a break in the middle of the week, just one rest day, and then the rest of the days are for working out only takes a little bit of your time and you will start feeling amazing afterwards. I promise you that it's not only about the physical aspect like we talked about, it's also about the mental aspect of working out. I hope that today you didn't think about your insecurities too much, but instead you thought about what a beautiful, amazing person you are. And especially if you've done all the workouts in this challenge, if you have completed the full K-pop workout challenge in four weeks, I wanna congratulate you. I'm so super proud of you. You are amazing. Love you loads, bye-bye.